Yes, please go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Today I'm going to explain about recurring entries. Uh, I think everyone know about recurring entries. Recurring entries means simply uh, these are repeating entries. See, generally every month we have to pay rent, salaries, etc. So instead of doing it every month, we have an option in SAP that is recurring option. Uh, so when when we give the inputs in recurring option, the entries will get posted automatically at the respect to date we are giving in the okay, system. Do one thing. Uh, close the screen. Uh, so yeah, me me screen. Meda, either convert them to them. Just close it. Ah yes. Top meda into button. Yes. Skype the. Okay. Yes. Now you can continue. Yeah. And the configuration. First no, no, we need to create the recurring entry once again. OK. Yeah, yeah, recurring entries are simply is nothing but repeating entries. See, generally every month you have to pay the rent, salaries, etc. So instead of doing it every month, we have an option in SAP that is recurring option. So when whenever we are giving the inputs in recurring option, the entries will get posted automatically at the respective date we are giving in the system. That means we don't need to get, clear the invoices manually. That, that means we, not to, we don't need to do manually. And for that, the configuration is is as follows. Like first, we need to create X1 document number range. Then we need to create recurring document. Sir, can I show you in the system? Yes, yes, please go ahead. Okay. Yeah, don't be fast. Okay, just explain one by one uh, the steps. Okay, don't be fast. OK, just go to settings and increase your font size. Hello. Hello. Yes. Chanu, sir. OK, we'll discuss later and just uh, let, let ah, him sir, complete okay, first. Okay. Okay. Sir, okay, okay sir. once it is ended up, then we'll discuss. OK, sir. OK. Sir, is it visible now? No, no, no. Slash in X. Just uh, give it slash in X. In X. OK. Exit. Hey, enter. Join again, but still it is showing very. Sir, apply jailers, sir. So you haven't applied. OK, go to options. Settings. OK. And font size 20. OK. Click OK. And apply. 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 Yes, click OK. 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 <coughs> Can the OK? Mm, slash and X. Yeah. Oh. OK, now it is visible. So first we need to create uh, X1 document number range. Uh, I have created already, so I'm directly creating recurring document. For that, the T code is no, FB. No, show me that uh, how you created. Okay. FB one, FB N one. Okay. Don't be fast. I'll explain each and everything okay. slowly. Okay. Here, first we need to create X one document number range uh, for recurring entries. So I have created. I have taken from nine not one to thousand. OK, fine. You already posted one document. Yes, for salaries, I have posted, sir. OK. Until and unless we uh, we create this one, we can't post the recurring entries. That means system won't pick the recurring entries. So first uh, we need to create the recurring document in FBD1 T code. Here we need to give to company code. <coughs> See here first run last run. First run last run is the time period. Uh, because uh, for suppose we are giving here 111. Here for three years I have taken. That means uh, up to the uh, in this time period the recurring entries will happen automatically. Okay. 
Next is interval. It depends upon the business. Like if the client wants to post the entries after one month, after three months, then we need to take that value here. I'm taking one month here. That means in this time period, after every one month, the recurring entries will happen automatically. This is the run date. I'm taking the three. That means in this time period, after this interval, in this date, the recurring entries will happen automatically. So document type is general ledger SCA. Yeah? I think you need to give the currency. Yeah. <clears throat> Here I'm taking the rent GL. Sorry, here now. Only November we have only 30 days. Okay. You already run? I have posted with field the reference. You need to give. See, last one you have taken 2025. Why you have taken that uh, long? Okay. Can I take for one year, sir? One year. Okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Give the reference. Okay, rent rates may be varied. thousand rent time. Every year rent rate may be varied. Okay. Yeah. The tenant will increase your rent. That time this should not work out, okay? Okay. Uh, owner will increase the rent, right? Uh, so tenant need to pay. Yes, 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 sir. But no, for, sir. Uh, for one year it remains constant, sir. Sir, but uh, we can uh, we can do for depreciation, right? See, uh, see for this year the rent is only ten thousand. From the next year it should be eleven thousand. What happened? This should not be work out, right? Right. Yes. 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 Yeah. This should be applicable only one year, so we cannot uh, put it to five years rent. Okay. Rent may be every year it will be increased by owner. As per the agreement uh, between the owner and tenant. Yeah. Here I'm taking bank GL. So I have created recurring entry document. See it is uh, stored like. Next, uh, we can see the created document in F-15. See, this is the entry I have posted. Okay. Rent to bank. Next. Now we need to execute recurring document. For that, the T code is F-14. Settlement period is what we have taken in the creating document. I'm taking November. So it, it is created. Next we need to process the bad job. For that the T code is SM35. So what is the job uh, bad job T code SM35? Yes. <coughs> See, this is the one I have created just before. Okay. <clears throat> so far. Okay. 
then we need to process this one. Okay, your periods are not open, man. Okay. Open up. Sir, meanwhile, can I ask you one question? Yeah. Uh, sir, suppose if uh, some uh, depreciation, so we can you know automate the same for depreciation as well, right? Uh, for, especially for straight line weather. Suppose may, may I have purchased one asset having depreciation, you know, 10 years depreciation. So can I use, you know, the post the same entries with the help of uh, this recurring entries? Yes, yes, we can do that. Actually, the depreciation uh, calculated on every month, the monthly basis. Mm. Okay, so every month we need to calculate financial statements, but for the future period also we can do that. So for straight line method, the amount will be the same, right? Yes, uh, straight line method amount will be the same. Even straight line so method amount method that will be same. Mm -hmm. Percentages, right? Okay, so right. fixed amount should be there. But uh, in that case, uh, there is something difference will come in points, right? Mm -hmm. Decimals. Mm -hmm. Even if you take a straight line method, uh, so after that, what happened? Point will come. So the point amount will be difference. The decimal uh, amount difference will be happening. But uh, actually, so every month we need to calculate depreciation. So future uh, periods hello? also we can calculate. Uh, so, say, periods say ascending order. So you are given nine uh, eight nine eight allows so today. Eight, eight, eight nine this one lap there. Enter. Enter. Eight nine this. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, eighth period is already in open, sir. Why it is not coming? Okay, do one thing. Just go to SM tool and uh, delete the entries. Sir, eighth period is already open, sir. No, yeah, eighth period is not open. This is okay. You just to open up. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay. This okay. is the eighth month. One. Okay, fine. Now you check in the OBI six, sir. So is this your uh, posting period variant or not? Come down. This one only, sir. Yeah, WPV. Ah, uh, okay. You can do it. You can proceed. Yes, scoundrel process. You create one more session. November 1, we can create it.
Okay, the most period you open only 08, but you need to open 09, okay? Okay. Go to OB57, OB52, and uh, open up when zero eight ninth zero period zero. also. Okay, two period to nine button day. Two period. Two button. Nine. very session wait okay just to open up new session okay this is already processed okay yes sir you got some error right yeah so can, can i delete post the answer delete also okay, okay you can create the new one Select enough first. Okay. Oh, you are forgetting reference field also. Use the reference field. Okay. Just go back. Session over. Yeah. Okay. Now you check sessions. Now it now it is over, sir. Over. It's over, huh? So see the entry of page three and check it out. See, this is the entry, sir. Okay. Okay. This is the T B D by T code system has taken. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Uh, See uh, next time uh, next assignment is done. Uh, no? uh, next time next assignment already gone. Uh, already gone. Uh, next assignment. Uh, 